Okay, so now we've got our instance of Groove Agent 1 open and a MIDI track set up, but we have no drum map. So if we click on Drum Map Setup and create a new map, there we go. And if we give it a name, I think we'll probably call it our drum map uh, for want of a better name. There we go. So if we save that, I generally save it into the project folder that I'm working on to keep everything together so you don't get anything lost. That's basically, we don't need that for now. Okay, so we need to assign um, that drum map to that channel. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a blank MIDI event in order for us to be able to actually open the, um, the drum editor instead of the usual piano roll MIDI editor. So I've created a blank event there. Normally I'll just double click in it, but you can also go MIDI open drum editor. Okay, so we'll just double click into it. And here you can see the drum editor with sound one, two, three, etc., where the names of your drums will be. Okay, so just make sure that's rooted to Groove Agent, which it is. <coughs> Excuse me. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to start assigning drums to each pad. Now, you'll notice when we zoom in, it, oh, first we need the media bay to pick some drum sounds with. Okay, so we're going to start with the kick drum. Just uh, audition a few. So we can find one we like. Nope. I don't like that. Oh, that's nice. Kind of old school R&B. So we'll drag that to pad C2. C2 is a MIDI note. Okay. So if we... That works nice. And yep, that's pad C2. So if we have a look down here on the drum editor, uh, you'll notice they're all note names. And we just try and find C2. There it is. Give it a click. And you can see that's triggering the pad. We'll call that kick. Okay. Now we need a snare drum, so we're going to put that on C sharp too. Call the browser up again. And have a look for some snare drums. Same again, we'll just scroll through them and addition a few. Okay, that goes nicely with our uh, kick drum. Get rid of the browser for a moment. Give it a click. That works. And we'll call that snare. Okay, there we go. Check it on our pad. Oh, no. Go for some hi-hats. So we're going to go for D2. So we want closed and open. So we'll go for the closed hi-hats first. I know there's some guns at the beginning. Yep, that'll do. And there's the open one. So we'll drag the closed one to pad D2, just drop it there, and find D2, there it is, call that hats closed. Right, and now we're going to want the equivalent open hat as well. So get the sound browser, that's the open one we found just, drag it to D sharp 2, that works, find D sharp 2 on there, yep. And call that hats open. A little trick uh, that's worth knowing within Groove Agent 1 is that when you play a closed hat after an open hat, it should choke the open hat. So what we're going to do now is set up a choke group for the two of them. So if you click on voice, select the pad you want to work on, and you'll see something called mute group. So set them both to mute group 1. I'm not really quick enough um, with the mouse, unfortunately. So we'll give it a quick try on the virtual keyboard, see if we can get it to work, if I can find the right octave we're in. Is it that one? Nope. Nope. It's around here somewhere. No, that's not D. Okay, hang on, try. Nope. Nope. Right, next octave up. Right, next one. Ah, here we go. Okay, yeah. And you can hear them choking there. Okay, right, that's enough of that. So we'll close that. Oh, a little bit of an over there. Okay, so we've got all our sounds named up. So the thing to do now is we can drag them up to the top of the screen like that. Just click in the, uh, the pitch field. Left click and drag up. 
and we can take them all up to the top of the screen in order. Oh, where's it gone? I know it's in there somewhere. There it is. Okay, so we drag those all up to the top and they're all in order. Yep, there's our hats again. So, get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of the browser. And we'll open our map up again in the map editor. Okay, we just save that. Save it to our project folder again. Yes, please. Okay, now you see sound one, two, three, four, etc. that are running down there. Um, they can get a bit messy in the job editor, so we're just going to blank those out. Just left click, it will select it. Hit the delete key and the down arrow on your keyboard, and you can just hammer through them like that. And we'll save it again as well to our drum map. And that very easily is uh, how you create a drum map in Cubase. Thanks for watching.